Hey, welcome back. We're studying the Gospel of Luke and we're moving over today into chapter 10, just one verse, just chapter 10, verse 1. Here's what it says. After these things, the Lord appointed 70 others also and sent them two by two before his face into every city and place where he himself was about to go. So Jesus sends them out on a mission. And of course, this is going to be, as all these missions are, a kind of in the workspace, you know, on the job training. This is this is training. This is this is on the front lines training. And Jesus sends them out. And it's interesting here how he sends them out. He sends them out two by two. And you say, well, yeah, that's nice. But uh, a lot of times I like to work alone. Well, you know what? When two people go and you're visiting with people, you're talking with people, you're praying with people, one person can pray while the other talks. Also, it's easier if you've got another person who's listening. One person or the other is always leading. You're trying to listen to people and yet you're trying to figure out what to say. It's kind of a sketchy thing sometimes. We want to be able to actually hear what people are saying. And so it's good if you've got two people that are listening, when they're done with that uh, in that interaction, you might find as they talk to each other later, they might say, hey, did you notice that he said this? And the person might say, well, actually, I didn't even really realize what he said. And we might find something that's very significant there, something that's maybe blocking the path or creating an issue that's blocking the pathway for them to the kingdom. So go two by two. Two heads are better than one. And not a Bible verse, but a truth. A truth, if you have two converted heads, two converted hearts, that's always better than one. And so send them out two by two. And also today, there's so much weirdness out there. It's probably another thing. It's probably kind of wise to go two by two in case there's something that comes up that's uh, that's extremely unsavory. Also, you have, if there's an appearance of evil or a claim that something something uh, happened that never happened, you have a witness. And so go two by two and, and especially pray for the opposite person. Pray for the person who's not speaking and pray for yourself if you're that party who's not speaking and learn learn back and forth and trade off go and visit do visits with people two by two it's the method that Jesus here gives us an insight about now the other piece here is that he sends them out before him into every place that he's going to go God is looking for people who will go before him Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. His spirit is going to work for every heart, but he wants us. He sends us. He could send angels, you know, a 20 foot tall angels, very loud and very persuasive, super intellect. Could send these guys out to glow around and say, hey, Jesus, you know how to get on the plan with Jesus. He didn't do that. He sends humans. And so he sends us kind of uh, slower to think, slower to speak well. And, uh, and, but we can't let that be a problem. God wants to use you and I. So, Let's be there for people. Let's look for ways we can bless others, listen to what they're actually saying instead of be spending all of our mental energy figuring out what we're going to say next so that we can't even hear people. Hey, Jesus, read through the four Gospels. Jesus was the, the consummate listener. He listened closely to people before he spoke. And we often speak before we listen to people. See, we got it backwards. So there's a good plan here as we go two by two. Let's pray. Father in heaven, we want to do your work. Sometimes it'll be in the public square. Sometimes it'll be in the grocery store. Sometimes it'll be in somebody's house. Sometimes it'll be in the car. Sometimes it'll be over a electronic device, a phone or something. Lord, help us to follow the plan of Jesus. Help us to be especially listening and processing and praying and thinking so that we may be a blessing to others who need to draw close to your kingdom. Thank you for hearing our prayer, Lord. In Jesus' name we ask. Amen. So friends, may the Lord bless you and be with you as you serve him and go two by two.